let's throw some jabs. The fight starts now! Well, Sergio, a few weeks ago, it appeared to be all systems go for a showdown between Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia. Both fighters had publicly declared they had agreed to terms, and the two networks, Showtime and DAZN, brokered an agreement that would see Showtime produce the fight, with DAZN accepting a seven-figure fee. However, Golden Boy did not receive a contract for the fight last week, and a Monday deadline set by Oscar De La Hoya to receive one came and went. Sergio, how long should Ryan Garcia be willing to wait for this fight? I think Ryan Garcia and his promoter, uh, Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy Promotions, they, they're starting to get that feeling like we need to make this happen. Seven days max, I think one more week, man, it's because if this fight is scheduled to happen in April, whether it's early April or mid-April, they need eight weeks to properly train for a mega fight. Not only that, they need another week or two to go across the country in the big cities. I'm talking about, talking about LA, Chicago, New York, DC to properly promote this fight. So you, you need a solid 10 weeks to do all of this. Mind you, these guys need to actually be concentrating on each other. So I would say if this fight doesn't get signed, sealed, and delivered, this time next week, man, it's, this is just another one that vanished in the wind. It's not happening. Well, first of all, let me say a couple things. One, press tours don't really happen anymore. They happen for the occasional Canelo fight. So I don't think there should be a sense of urgency to get out there and be in New York, in Baltimore, and Southern California. I don't think that uh, really matters all that much. And I'd be willing to wait a little longer than a week for if I'm Ryan Garcia because this is such a significant fight. But there are two things that I, I think Ryan Garcia should be assured of. Number one, I'd want to be assured that April 15th is the date. If you look at that time of year, Showtime has a bunch of pay-per-views that are going to fall in that March, April, May schedule. You've got a March fight between Caleb Plant and David Benavidez. That's scheduled to be on pay-per-view. You saw Errol Spence tweet out that he was going to fight in April. That's going to be against Keith Thurman, and that's going to be on pay-per-view. We still don't know the future of a fight between Andy Ruiz and Deontay Wilder. If that fight happens in the next few months, that's going to be on pay-per-view. So if I'm Ryan Garcia, I want it in writing that I am going to fight on April 15th. That's number one. Number two, if I'm Garcia, I want to have a backup plan in place. Not just because this fight might not happen on April 15th because of scheduling issues, but because Tank Davis still faces a significant trial in the D.C. area over a hit and run. And we saw just last year a judge rejected a plea deal because there was no jail time involved. So it's not crazy to think that it's at least possible for Gervonta Davis to be serving some form of, form of sentence between February and March, which would make it highly unlikely that we see a Garcia Davis fight in April. So if I'm Garcia, I'm telling Golden Boy and I'm telling DAZN, have somebody on standby because I'm fighting April 15th, be it against Tank Davis or somebody else. Oh, you can bet they're gonna have someone on standby. That's, that's what just, that's what uh, promoters do, uh, savvy promoters do. They're not gonna let that date slip away and they're gonna have someone that's similar to the style of Tank. And I've said it plenty of times, another short, aggressive southpaw, Mercito Gesta makes perfect sense. So have Gesta on standby, but I disagree with you on the cross country promoting. I think a, a fight of this magnitude, even though it's not for a championship fight, they have a following, man. So they're gonna be super popular every city they hit in the major cities. They're gonna get the young uh, fan base coming out, the non-boxing fans, even the celebrity YouTubers and all that stuff that follow Ryan Garcia. This is gonna be a, a, a mega event in their eyes and it's going to be a, a, a very popular well-selling event in boxing so it needs that cross-country promotion and it needs to have a good two months of not only training but for fans to be anticipating that this fight is actually going to happen and it's going to do big numbers i expect it to do over a million uh, a million buys in pay-per-view easily so i think this is going to be a, a very successful event if it's promoted right well I, look it, it does need to be promoted right. I don't necessarily think it needs to have a multi-stop press tour only because Sergio, I I'm in the media. Those things have gone away in recent years, except for the biggest of the big fights involving Floyd Mayweather, or in some cases, Canelo Alvarez. Hasn't been every case where he's been involved in a press tour. But I want to go back to something that you said at the top of all this. You'd wait about a week 
and then you'd move on. Is that what you're saying? You'd say, I want that contract before, say, next Monday, or you'd go look to make another fight? Yeah, I, I would do something like that because look, Oscar De La Hoya tweeted out that if it wasn't for today, this Monday, that you know uh, he wanted all the paperwork. It didn't happen. We're still talking about it. I think Ryan Garcia needs to go on 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 uh, on record and say something similar, you know, because he's the fighter. He's not the promoter. So if he can go out on record and say, I need the contract signed, sealed, and delivered, and I need my date this time next week, I think he he can have some. Uh, some leverage on his side because we know this kid wants this fight. He's been calling out Tank for a long time. Now we're finally here. We're almost at the finish line. What's the hesitation? Sign sign the pe paperwork. S send that kid the, the contract and let's get on with it. So I think Ryan Garcia, it will serve him right to put some pressure on, on Tank and Showtime and everyone on that side of the street. I do think from what I've been told that Golden Boy will have a contract this week. It could come as early as Tuesday. Now, I don't know if that contract is going to be the kind of deal that just needs to be rubber stamped. We know that mm. both sides have agreed to the framework of the finances. We know that the networks have figured out their issues, but there could be several issues in that contract that could cause this thing to be dragged out. I, I would wait, though, a little bit longer. This is such a big fight. If Ryan Garcia stays at 140 pounds after this fight, he's probably not going to come back down to 136, which this fight's going to be contracted at. I, as long as there's some form of paperwork this week that gets the, the ball rolling, that gets the wheels moving, I would wait two weeks, three weeks, maybe even four weeks to get this over the finish line. No way, that's way too long. I say one week one week tops. And look, if the money's the most important, then the location, and of course the weight. Those three things get settled and ironed out this time next week, it's gonna happen. And we don't have to actually have pen on paper, but if those three, three things can be agreed yeah, upon they have on both been sides. Sorted out. They, they have been sorted out. Like, that, this is well known. They have been okay, sorted well, out the, already. Well, if they're it's sorted out be, and... Go ahead. Look, I, I, all, all, all I'm saying is that... that what gives me reason for pause to think that this will not be the kind of contract that just needs to get rubber stamped and sent on its way is that, look, we know when contracts were swapped for a potential fight between Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence, like, there was thing, the things that Crawford took issue with. Maybe there are things that Golden Boy is going to take issue with and they first get this contract. All I'm saying is, like, just get that first copy of a contract in the hands of Eric Gomez and Oscar De La Hoya at Golden Boy, and then I think we'll be at least headed in the right direction, and we can wait a couple of weeks before a deal is finalized. That makes sense. A rough draft. Start with that, and I think uh, Oscar De La Hoya could send a tweet out saying, we got the first draft of the contract, we're going on the right pace, I think this fight's going to happen, everything's all good.